I mean, what would I be doing right now? Sitting home, just made pancakes, like watching fishing shows. Instead, I get to run in 19 degree weather. This, God, this is so much fun. My name's Tom Butler. I'm 55 years old. I'm from Philadelphia, PA. I played football. I played football from weight ball to high school to college to semi-pro. In the past two and a half years, I had both my knees worked on. Um, I don't have knee replacements. I have torn meniscuses in one, my left knee. I tore the meniscus and had the patella tendon repaired in this one. It was something that I thought for the rest of my life I would have to bear with, is, is having knee problems. It was because of football, because I did roofing for a while. Uh, you name it. Um, I run an insulation company. I'm an in, you know, I've, I've insulated, I drove tractor trailers. A lot of it probably had to do was because of the weight. I was a lot heavier this time last year. I was up to 280. That was the most I weighed. I was a little reluctant because having trying, trying to think my son coached me to do something, you know, to swallow your pride. And and he goes, for two years you've been you haven't been able to change. You're still the same. I thought I could do it myself, okay? That, uh, oh yeah, he just always looked great. Sean has always been a phenomenal athlete, okay? I was wearing a size 42 pants. Everything was double XL, going to triple XL. Um, I couldn't swallow my pride. He said, you know, you can recover. You can rebuild, you know? It's going to take time. He says, you come here, you make the effort. You can get back to where you were. So you guys are going to partner up because the partner deadlift, you need the height, so you'll be both lifting to the same spot. Okay. All right, and you'll go off of that. You'll go off about seventy percent of your max. Okay. It's going to be nice and tough. Okay. All right. No problem. Cool. cool. So we're going to we're going to set like you up. We're going to set you up a bar here. Okay. We're going to bar set up. Continue to warm up, okay. and then uh, probably in about five minutes or so, I'll start bringing people. Together. He was basically my my hero growing up. He was my coach as a kid, and I saw an opportunity where I could improve his uh, physical wellness and overall life, because I know, his, you know he'd be getting to that point, his knees were beat up from football, um, and I started getting after him. It, it took me a good year and a half to two years to get him in here, um, but when I finally talked him into it, it was always, hey, listen, you know, I know your knees hurt, I, I know, you know you're looking at surgeries and stuff, but I, along with that, we gotta get something, we gotta get the weight off of you, we gotta get a little relief to those knees. And I know you're looking at, you know, talking to doctors and stuff, but there's also, you gotta look at, they're gonna tell you you're gonna need exercise. And I'm like, we got a great thing here and I have a bunch of people that are getting uh, big, big improvements and seeing results, especially in you know the weight loss and seeing their knees. I had another gentleman here whose knees really improved due to just dropping that good 40, 50 pounds. Oh, this is good, this is good. I, I, I like partners. I think it's partners is a lot. It's good because it helps push each other and it helps you, like if I'm doing the pull-ups, and my, you know, my legs ain't together. He can tell me. You know, I can tell. Him, come on, John. You know, keep your legs together. Come on. You can, you can help each other. You can make it move. You know, it makes it work a lot easier. The first workout, I'm like, this is what he does. He they scaled me down. We did the workout, and I'm like, well, that, that wasn't that bad, you know. And I, and I was like, oh, okay, well, I can do this whole thing. And he says, okay, do a muscle up, pull up. I can't do it. My flexibility. My flexibility was. I guess the easiest way to explain it was being like a stiff chair. I couldn't do half the things, quarter of the things that I did when I was younger. Now, it's absolutely incredible. I can jump a 30 inch box. Jump straight up on a 30 inch box. I still have to scale. I'm okay. What you learn here is to swallow your pride. Okay. This is my family here. These are my friends. We work out, we work out together, we help each other. energy. He used to come, gets up four in the morning, he used to fall asleep by 6, 30, 7 o'clock at night, right after dinner. He was on the couch. Ten minutes later, he's asleep. Now he can go the whole nine yards. But yeah. you've had some issues from football. Oh, from football. From football from with from knees. knees from, from and obviously, yeah. I think that that's keeping you from having to get full knee replacement. Yes. Is CrossFit. Yes, is CrossFit. Because yes. you were, I mean, if you had gone on without CrossFit, you would probably be a year or two away from As the doctor said, he said, knees. the worst thing with your knees is weight. He said, you have to drop the weight. Um, 
So energy's the main thing. And then obviously just appearance wise. I mean, we obviously got our bodies back. We were just kind of fading into the background and now um, we're fit again. And you, with CrossFit, I think you get to learn to enjoy life a lot more. It's a cold day, but it's a beautiful day. I mean, there's people this morning that didn't wake up. There's people that, that are just sitting on their couches doing nothing. It's the first time we ran outside in a while. I mean, it's good to run. You gotta work on every aspect. I mean, you think about this why, what we did today was from head all the way down to your toes. Every part of your body was worked out. I wouldn't have done that at a normal gym. Might have looked pretty doing it. Age does not matter. It, it does not matter. It's a farce. It's all what you want to do with CrossFit. It's all what you want to be. You're your own worst enemy. In this gym, there's nothing you can't do. I mean, CrossFit has taught me that. I can't believe I can do some of the things I do and how I do it. You know? I, I'm not saying that somebody's going to come in here the first week and do this. Okay? You have to put the time and the effort in CrossFit to do this. And it's worth it. it you, you're, what, the, what you get out of CrossFit is utterly amazing. When you work during the day, work is work. Okay? As I tell all my sons and my daughter-in-laws, remember, not unless you own it, all it is is a J-O-B. It's just a job. Okay? What I look forward to is 4.30, 5 o'clock. It's coming here and talking with my friends because the whole world is now out there. This is where I feel I'm in the zone.